Good morning. I'm Mr. Milky. Welcome back to our chapel devotion for Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. In the message I shared with you yesterday, it was my prayer that you might find comfort in knowing that your final destination has already been determined. Today, I pray that the message I share with you gives you strength in knowing that you have been thoroughly equipped by your Heavenly Father for everything you will face in this life. Let me share with you a story. When I was teaching at St. John's, I recall a science lesson that I was sharing about flight. And I was joking with my students that if you get into a passenger plane and if you use the restroom while you're flying and you flush, there's this little trap door, this little hatch that opens up and everything just falls out and towards the ground. So I looked at them and I said, if you're ever outside and there's a passenger plane flying over your head, don't look up. And I never really gave that story a whole lot of thought until that class was eighth graders. And they were getting ready to head into high school and somehow that topic came up within the classroom. And I laughed and I reminded them about the story that I had shared with them in fifth grade. And there was this student who had this pained expression on their face. And they sheepishly raised their hand and they said, Mr. Milky, do you mean to tell us that that story you told us wasn't true? And I said, well, yes, of course that story wasn't true. You know that's not the case. And they looked at me and they said, every time a plane flies over my house, I run inside. And when we flew to Florida, I told my parents that I wouldn't use the restroom on the airplane until we landed. Oops. It was at that moment that I realized how easy it is to lead someone astray and how solemn and serious a task it is to serve as a teacher and a mentor. We live in a world that is cunning and crafty. There are organizations and people who produce content and messages that are designed to mislead people. Those messages stir up dissension, they stir up hatred, they stir up jealousy, and, and overall they simply seek to divide. And unfortunately, sometimes those messages are intended to pull Christians away from their faith and their relationship with Jesus. And on this side of heaven, we're going to be bombarded by these things. We're going to have to wrestle with them. There's no way around that. But that's not the end of this message. God equips us with everything that we need to deal with those kind of people, to deal with those kind of messages. As we immerse ourselves in God's Word, as we spend time in worship, in reading our Bibles, in daily devotions, in prayer, in having conversations with fellow Christians who share that same faith, God deepens our understanding and strengthens our ability to apply what He has to say in His Word to those difficult situations, to those challenging questions, to deciphering the messages that the world throws at us so we can better know how to live our faith. The Apostle Paul says it to us this way, The goal is that we would no longer be little children, tossed by the waves and blown around by every wind of teaching, when people use tricks and invent clever ways to lead us astray. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we would in all things grow up into Christ, who is the head. That's why we're here, isn't it? To learn together, to grow together in faith, to learn how to love one another better, to learn how to support one another, to encourage each other, to develop that rock-solid confidence that no matter what storm life throws at us, that God stands right beside us. That sure promise that He walks by us every step of the way and will lift us up and hold Him in the palm of His hand. This is why we exist. This is why you belong to the family of believers. This is why Shoreland Lutheran High School exists. To be built up in knowing these two basic truths. Number one, God loves you literally to death. 
Number two, he gave his only son so that you might know the peace and the joy of sins forgiven and the assurance that your place in heaven is being prepared by your Savior Jesus. I know that you recognize the story that I shared with my fifth graders so long ago obviously wasn't true. But I pray that as you ponder the message that was shared with you this morning, you rest assured in the truth of God's everlasting love for you and that he would promise to continue to strengthen you and to equip you with everything that you need here on this earth and as you long for the time when he brings you home with him forever in heaven. Amen. Heavenly Father, guard and protect us from the evil of this world. Grant to us discerning hearts that always test the messages we read, we hear, or see against the truths of your word. Continue to grow our faith in you and continue to keep us connected to you as we grow in faith through word and sacrament. Keep us united in that faith until you bring us home to be with you in the mansions of heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.